Hello again, this is Rachel from Studio Us getting ready for another at-home drawing tutorial. Today we're doing a nice springtime butterfly picture with oil pastels, so grab your supplies and we'll get started. As always, you'll need a piece of paper, we'll get a pencil with an eraser on the back, get yourself a sharpie as well, we'll use that at the end, and a nice big eraser for clearing off big spaces. Jump right in. We're going to start with that main wing on the butterfly, and I'm going to find kind of the midpoint of the paper to get myself started. I'm going to give myself a nice dotted line for that first shape, especially if it's an unusual shape like this one. To give myself a guide for where I want it to go, how high I want it to be, and how low I want the shape to go. I'm just sketching. always easier to start out by dotting out your line. That way you can erase just a single dot if it's a little bit off instead of having to erase an entire line. Next we're going to add that top wing in using pretty much the same technique. Dotting out how high I want that wing to go, where I want it to end and connect with the other wing. And giving myself a little bit of a guideline to shape that in before I draw the line. body. This one you can kind of just sketch in. Mark out how far down the wing you want it to go. Start to your line. And the same thing for that wing in the back there. We're going to mark where we want it to end, how far out we want it to come from that first wing, and draw it in. Putting in the circle for the flower now, I'm marking where it comes out of the body, where it touches the wing, and how far the edges go out, and curving it around to get a nice oval shape. Alright, we're going inside our first oval. Bringing the second one around. It's a little thinner at the top, a little thicker at the bottom. And then we're going to mark out about where we want the top and bottom of our circle. So that's center in the next flower. Scoot it down just a little bit. I'm a bit too high. And then sketch it in. Alright, starting to add some of these details into the butterfly, I'm giving myself a few quick guides to get that shape, and I'm just going to darken up my line. Some of these smaller ones you can just kind of sketch in by hand, keeping them in proportion to the rest of those shapes. Even when I draw something in just kind of by hand, I'm always watching to make sure it's lining up with the other shapes and kind of starting and ending where I see it ending on the reference image. Do even more little details in there. Then 
very careful to give myself enough space between these spots because I'm going to have to color that space in later and go over it with Sharpie and make sure my lines don't touch. all those dots on the top wing. I'm very careful to watch how far out I'm going with these so I can get that line around the edge of the dots that we added and so I have enough room on the edge to add more of the details I like. now and adding in all of those little tiny detail dots. And I'm careful again to leave some room on the outside edge. We're only filling in about half of that space because there's going to be another row. These are all just little rounded rectangle shapes. We're just sketching it. at the bottom are a little bit longer, but still kind of rounded rectangles. I'm still leaving about half of that empty space left for our next row. leave a little bit of edge between that row of dots and the side of the wing. circle for the head. Be careful to watch where these antennas go. One goes into the circle for the flower, one goes right up next to the edge of it. Alright, we're getting in some petals finally. Top ones are pretty easy. The bottom ones, we want to watch that angle coming out of that oval. It kind of goes right off to the side. Leaves a little bit of room at the bottom for us to get leaves in there later. And keep the bottom of that petal a little bit wobbly. Alright, we're just going to keep building out from here. I'm watching where the leaf the petal comes out of the butterfly. Trying to keep it the same length as the last one, while still making it look like it's curving around. And of course, keep it wobbly at the bottom so it looks a little natural. A couple of quick lines for the top ones, nice and easy there. And on to the next one, even more petals. Getting that little one in the background there. Adding another one off to the side. Still watching the length, so they all look about the same length as they go around. And then sketching it 
couple more up at the top. I'm starting to be able to see the bottoms of the petals up there. Petal along the bottom there. This one's getting a little bit shorter as it starts to curve around the other side. Sketching in those top petals. And seeing the edge of the petal again as it comes off that butterfly wing. Going a little shorter and a little shorter as we go around. out the rest of that lower flower. We're getting the bottom flower finished first, that way when we add the next step, we can bring those bottom petals, petals on the top flower around and keep them kind of lined up looking like they're going behind the flower in the foreground. So we'll sketch those in real quick and then we're going to add some nice pointy blades of grass or leaves. for that flower in the foreground. This one's a little tricky. I want to watch where it comes out of the butterfly wing and how it scoops around the outside of that flower. Add a nice little center line for the leaf. And we've got it. Sharpie and start outlining all of our lines, going over it with the Sharpie to make it nice and clean. And we'll speed up this process on the video as usual, but make sure you go slow and take your time. Don't miss any lines, make sure they all connect and try to keep them nice and smooth and clean looking because we can't erase the Sharpie. Alright, finishing up those last few lines on the flower. Nice. 
grab an eraser, make sure you go over all your Sharpie lines and clear out any extra pencil lines you have on there, and we'll be ready to color. We're going to hop right in. We're using oil pastels for these. The first one we're going to grab is a nice light blue. Start going around our edges. So we're going to zip through the coloring part a little fast. Make sure you're taking your time with oil pastels. You want to work it over so it kind of gets a little bit melty and smooth down into the paper. And that way you can get a nice smooth coating and layer it up. things just to make sure I go around the sharpie lines really work that oil pastel to fill in all those spaces and get a smooth edge lots of white fuzzy space as you're filling this in. Keep wiggling the oil pastel over it. It'll start melting a little bit the more you wiggle it and then you'll start getting that nice smooth texture like you see here. Most importantly, don't push down hard or you'll snap your oil pastel in half. We'll fill in the big background spaces, keeping it nice and smooth. Keep going over the same spot until it gets nice and smooth. So really take your time on this one. white oil pastel, or sorry, a light green oil pastel, and go over the highlight area. So you see that it's lighter on that reference picture. We're going to go over, push a little bit hard, give it a good wiggle, and we can bring those highlights in right on top of the medium green that we put on there. And it kind of blends together really nicely. Going in with a dark green, and doing the same thing for the shadow. Are 
great because you can layer them up and get all kinds of different colors and blend techniques. done. I'm going to go in with a nice bright yellow and get all of those flower petals filled in. And just like we did with the leaves, we can put in the highlights and shadows once we've got the main color on there. Take your time, fill it in nice and smooth, and then the highlights and shadows will layer up right on top. I'm always really careful around the edges when I'm coloring next to a space that I've already colored in. If I run that pastel into the green, it's going to pick it up and smudge it into my flat. So I'm being super, super careful once I get to the edges of those colors. Go 
ahead and find yourself a white oil pastel and we're going to get started working on those highlights with every little light edge of the petal. And as I do this, I'm careful to check all of the edges and see how they look on the reference because some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. Don't want to just assume that they're all going to look exactly the same. fewer of those so it goes pretty quick. Then we're going to grab kind of a golden yellow and go in and get those shadows on each petal. Again checking making sure that we're looking at each petal as we go, comparing the length and making sure we get those in the right spot. pastels I like to have a little tissue around that way if I get too much color on it or if it gets a little goopy I can just twist it into the tissue real quick it wipes off all the extra goop or color that it picked up and then works like a nice fresh pastel dark brown. We're going to get the outside edge on the bottom flower because that's a little darker. We can also get the shadows on the lighter browns that we just put on there. Go on top of those colors. 
just to get any highlights. You can use this on the light brown or the dark brown and up on that top part of the flower as well. Alright, we've got the flowers all done. We're going to go in with a nice yellowy orange. A little bit darker than the one we used for the shadows on the pet flower petals. Very carefully, we're going to work in those little gap areas between the spots on the wings and fill those in. careful around these spots, especially the ones that are going to stay white. That way we don't have to do any erasing or go back in the white pastel. Since the paper is already wet, we want to try to leave it that way. Save ourselves a little bit of work. all those edges filled in. We're going to go in with a white. Get our little highlights in those orange spaces right on the top of those wings. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic and dimensional. We're going to grab a darker orange. Get those shadows along the bottom of the bottom wing. And a couple little tiny shadows where the bottom wing overlaps that top wing. Going in with a dark brown, we're going to fill in the body of that butterfly. Finish that little bit off before we go into all of those black spots. Yellow, touch up any mistakes made. Add a little bit of brown leaking out of that bug. Going back in with a light tan. We're going to get the highlights on the body. And then we're going to go in with the black and very, very lightly. And we'll put on the shadows on the body. We've got a couple little shadows on the dark brown parts of that flower along the bottom. Tops of the antennas. And now, the most awesome part of the picture, we're going to get all those black spots in, make it look really vibrant.
get all the big spots first because it's a little easier and it gives you some practice at staying in your edges. And then we're going to go in and get those little in-between spaces around all those white dots up top. Be super careful here. But remember, if you make a mistake, oil pastel does erase really easily. So you can grab a little pencil top eraser and just clean that space out if you need to get it back. last few finishing touches on these little spaces in between the white dots. And that's it. You've got an awesome butterfly picture. Great job and we'll see you next time.